My name's Hazel and I'm from London. I'm the creator of Taste with Colour, the chocolate tasting flavour map that you can see here. I'm in gorgeous southern Germany at Eurobean Chocolate Festival and I've just done a tasting using Taste with Colour with Manoa Chocolate where I got people to paint what they were tasting. So I am actually a full-time food scientist. I work full-time in the food industry developing soft drinks for Fever Tree. And I have a huge passion for chocolate. So I've been involved in the chocolate industry for a number of years. I do lots of different chocolate tastings and I visited lots of beautiful cacao origins and I'm generally just all round passionate. I love to wear cacao around my neck. Um, been a chocolate guide. I've done all sorts of different things. Um, but my biggest project is Taste with Colour. And I created it because I do loads of different chocolate tastings. And I realized that I was speaking in colors. So I would say, hmm, this tastes like green to me, but I wouldn't know what the flavor was. So I noticed that I was describing flavors with color and that there wasn't actually a tool to simply categorize flavors with color. So there's various different tasting tools in the world, like flavor charts. And sometimes when I've judged various chocolate awards, there's been um, some tasting sheets with some flavors that you might find. And I always found it quite interesting and helpful to see the flavors written down, but there wasn't a tool that simply categorized flavors with color. So I made one. And even though I'm a food scientist, it's not complex and complicated. I've simply uh, put the flavors with the colors that they are in their natural form. So. I did think that this was synesthesia, where you see colors when you taste, but I've since learned that synesthesia is a little bit more abstract, so maybe you would see blue when you tasted a cherry note, but for me, I see a red or a sort of dark purple for a dried cherry. So this is actually called cross-modal correspondence because there's an association of two things rather than it being abstract. Um, I like to keep chocolate tasting open and approachable for people. So when I teach people how to use taste with color, I like to say that we all taste differently. We all have different backgrounds. We all have different flavor libraries. Um, and ultimately we will all taste different things, but it's really fun and exciting to get people to paint what they taste. Um, and it's, it, it gets them into a little bit of a meditative state. It's a little bit of a mindfulness exercise and it's a personal experience between them and the chocolate, rather than it being very qualitative and all about the quality and analysis. It's a little bit about letting go and just allowing the chocolate to speak to you and take you on a flavor journey. And then afterwards, we put all of the chocolate, um, the chocolate paintings together and we compare it with the packaging on the bar. And so I really like to try and challenge chocolate makers to think about the colors on their packaging and to think about what is it communicating with their consumers and just to break down the language a little bit more, talk about what sorts of colors do you like in terms of flavor? I personally really like a bit of green notes, whether it's herbal, whether it's a little bit limey, whether it's green apple, I really enjoy these flavors. I'm less interested in the sort of darker brown flavors because I like a chocolate that's very fruity and bright and often there's some chocolate bars that don't really get fruity and they stay a little bit more um, brown and what you would expect from a general chocolate. Um, whereas I'm really excited about cacao that has got lots of different flavors and it takes you on a little flavor journey and you can t taste loads of different colors. And I think that's just pure magic really when you taste that just from one little piece of chocolate. So I, I always like to go to chocolate festivals and participate by doing Taste with Colour workshops. So if there's a chocolate festival coming up, please let me know and I'd love to come and participate and do a Taste with Colour workshop. You can also reach me at tastewithcolour.com or at tastewithcolour on Instagram and that's the English spelling with a U, <laughs> not with a C-O-L-O-R. Um, so I'm always happy to talk about chocolate tasting. Please send me an email or reach out to me on Instagram and I would love to talk about chocolate with you.